Hey everyone, I thought I'd throw together another quick visual effects tutorial, this time looking at these few shots here leading up to the crossbow shield. Now obviously in this particular shot the crossbow bolt is completely CG so that Tom can destroy it. But what's probably not quite so obvious, well hopefully not quite so obvious, is that in these opening shots back here, if I just rewind to the right place, um, as Christopher approaches the crossbow bolt is completely CG in this shot and in this shot as well. Um, there was actually no crossbow bolt on the set at any point, <coughs> um, <coughs> just in case Chris got overexcited and started shooting Tom. So this is how we did it. Um, here's the first shot here, and you can see in the original, there's, uh, if we just switch back to here, turn off the grade, turn off the bolt, no crossbow bolt whatsoever inside the crossbow there. And it's rather obvious as well, so I was quite surprised when I got this shot in the edit because uh, Obviously, it would be considerably easier to have shot it with an actual practical bolt in there, but uh, I think this was a classic case of, let's just do it in post. Um, but yeah, that's what we did. So, first off, let's take a look at what we did. Started off with a track. So you can see we've got a two-point track going on here. And this is matching the movement of the crossbow, uh, both in terms of its position and its rotation. If we just zoom in a little bit on that, you can get a better sense for what's going on. So you can see as the crossbow is moving around in his hand. The tracks are tracking the start and the end of the crossbow. This gives us the uh, the general direction of the prop. Uh, so once we have that, we could then attach that data to a point. And here you can see it tracked on. Although the arrows don't quite match up with the uh, angle of the crossbow, that doesn't matter, it still reflects the general reflection of what's going on there. And then the bolt itself was uh, attached to the point and you can see that it rotates and keeps position with the crossbow as it moves. And if we open this up you can see that there's actually no keyframing whatsoever inside the bolt itself so all of its movement is coming from that that little track that we did at the start. Uh, so what could theoretically be a bit of a fiddly annoying shot turned out to be really simple uh, just thanks to the accuracy of hit films tracking. Um, and again you can see the bolt keeping pace in there and uh, hopefully to most viewers not at all being obvious that it's CG. Um, although it's a really subtle effect and not quite as fun as say the shield or the big shockwave at the end of the film, uh, it's one of my favourites just because most people won't have any idea it's even an effect. Um, we've got a similar situation over here. Um, so again, you can see the crossbow bolt just coming into view as we go up here. Uh, you don't really see, a, see it hugely in this shot, but uh, if it's not there, if I just turn it off, it becomes extremely obvious that something's missing. Not so much as he raises it up, although it's kind of truncated a bit, but once we get up here, you can see there's just nothing there. So having the bolt in definitely helps. So once again, if we switch to our tracking view, the problem we had here is that the crossbow itself is actually only in the shot for a very short period of time. It's not in it at all around here, and once it is in shot, it's really, really blurred. You can see here, there's not much definition going on there. It's only once it gets up to here that it's actually defined enough to sort of track easily. So instead I tracked Chris's arm, which wasn't quite as accurate as if we could have tracked the crossbow itself, because you can see the angle of his arm to the crossbow does change slightly. But it was enough to give us the, the rotational position data that we needed. And so once we had that, once again, stick it on a point, which you can see there, and that rotates with the movement of the arm, and the crossbow can attach to that. Now one thing that's interesting in this particular shot is that the built-in motion blur was really useful. So if I turn it off, you can see the crossbow bolt there, but it's really obvious and really looks very stuck on because the crossbow itself is so blurred compared to the crossbow bolt that it just doesn't look like it fits at all. Um, it's okay once it gets up there, but yeah. So if we just go back to here, you can see crossbow bolt not looking very realistic. Stick on the motion blur, and it matches everything else. So yeah, and um, that's kind of how it was done. Um, and once you threw on a grade as well, it just kind of bound everything together nicely. So there you go. Hopefully this is of interest.